Yeah, it sure is good. You ain't even had any wine. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know I had wine when I had my fourth and eighth on. I reckon this war will be over by next Christmas, with Washington up in flames and old Abe strung up like a fish at the end of the line. Ain't that right, Lee Wright? That right. That right, that right. By the way, where's our good host, Sandy? Why, I think he's coming now. Look there! <laughs> So many lovely faces, my God. Oh, over my boy. Get your young and loving ass over here. Oh. Samuel, who's this handsome devil I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet? Why, well, this is my longtime business associate, Oval Penny Crocker. Oval. Oval. This is my good friend, Robert Douglas Richmond III. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Richmond. That's Lieutenant Colonel Major to you, son. My mistake. Oh, well, this lovely Southern Belle here is my wife, Master Richmond. <laughs> Abanaco! Yes? Abanaco, I'd like you to meet my new friend here, Orville Pennycrocker. Abanaco here is from the Savage Territories. Uh, Indian Territories? Ah, uh, yes. Could all of you sumptuous individuals please join me in the dining room for a little meal? Just your liking, sir. That's enough, Leroy. That's quite enough, boy. I'd like to propose a toast to our most humble of hosts, my dear friend and confidant, Samuel J. McIntosh. Much obliged, Lieutenant Colonel Major. Now, let us not forget that we will not be sitting our exceptional selves here tonight, with the exception of Leroy, of course, if it were not for my great great grandpappy who patented this here Macintosh apple. Leroy, bring that plate over here. Here, finish this boy. Give me a big hug. Bigger hug. Oh, what kind of business oh, yeah, you I like to smack it down? I want that. I want that. I want that. Working on it. Processing plane. Oh, yeah. processing plane. Oh, meat. Processing plane. Oh, meat. Processing plane. Oh, meat. 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 Oh, meat
Mr. McIntosh, yeah. what are you working on down there? Well, right about now is the harvest season, okay? And, uh, right now, uh, is that a. You make a lot of money. Say, Robert, look at How is the military nowadays? Well, you see, I got promoted to Lieutenant Colonel Major. Oh, good. And, uh, where did you get that rank? Uh, well, you see, uh, and I, I bought it. <laughs> oh, how much did that cost in that? It not not cent, you see, because I'm such a prestigious gentleman and all. And they ain't charging me nothing. I'm charging them. Oh, right, right. So how much did you make for this uh, this new rank of yours? I make as much as I tell them. Hey, they don't get to decide how much I make. Well, sounds like the military life's treating you very well now. Hey, me, do you? <laughs> You living high and well? Who's that boy? You living high and well? In these lands? You be living high and well? High and well? Are you implying I'm a hermit living in the mountains? No, sir. I'm implying that you're living in a big house. And big lots of acres, I am. Lots of land. Bigger than this one. Boy. Be careful how you speak to me. Bigger. I you don't think I, I don't say this is something bigger than than this house right here. I made sure. If I, I say it's bigger, bigger than this house, it's bigger now than this Robert, house. Now listen, Robin, you're not in your own house right now. Okay, you gotta respect the man. Yeah, the and house. regardless, my house is bigger than yours. Well, you know what, we boy? Can, we can get Leroy here to get a measuring tape out, and we will measure the size of a toast to our new new nation. Amen to that, Mr. Pennycracker. A few months ago, I wrote a letter to our former president, uh, what was his name again? Ah, yes, Lincoln. Concerning his obscene desire to steal my beloved property and its constituencies. At this rate, Lincoln might as well be a Negro. Could you imagine if them yellow belly gangs selected a Negro into office? I mean, my God. <laughs> you laugh when I say something, boy. Well, that just about wraps up the facilities for this evening. I'll bet you all do me the honor of joining me tomorrow for a grand tour of this little slice of heaven. That's the land way. Plantation, when it was only 500 acres. He planted the first apple tree right over there. After that, on the first grand The 2,000 acres after that. My, and then with, uh, with, my, with his wife, Margaret, he had me. That is. Samuel, what a pleasant surprise. I trust you're keeping my property in line? Why, of course. You should expect nothing less. Work harder. You, get back to work. Hey, Samuel, didn't Leroy have a couple friends that worked this portion of the property? Oh, about that little incident. You see, before, I had 5,998 acres of land. And I wanted to make it 6,000 acres, because that just rolls off the tongue a little better, you know. Consequently, I was forced to sell some of Leroy's friends in exchange for Monsieur Candy's very generous offer of two more acres. But of course, Leroy couldn't come to terms with my decision to sell Daisy, who had apparently become very close to poor old Leroy. You just remember one thing, boy. I prefer land to Negroes.
Quite the story, Samuel. 6,000 acres is quite a bit of land. Have you even been to the other side of your property? Because every time you give us these tours, we always seem to come to the southwest portion. Oh, as a matter of fact, I've only seen pictures. Oh, Samuel. Just me. Orville, what news do you have, old Mr. McIntosh? We're gonna burn this place to the ground. Tell me something I don't know, Sugar Plum. Samuel, dear, would you care to enlighten us on your time in the old country? Ah, yes. Last summer, I had the pleasure of visiting my dear cousins, the Rhodes. Fine group of English stock. I also had the honor of counseling my winsome cousin's young boy, Cecil. What a praise were the young man that Cecil wrote. During our time together, I told him, I said, Cecil, we are the finest race in all the world, and that the more the world we inhabit, the better it is for the human race. What an alteration there would be if the Negroes brought under Anglo-Saxon influence in the Cape Colonies. <laughs> Ain't that right, Leroy? That right. One of you no good, yellow belly, Yankee loving fit. Have a seat at the dinner table, please. Not you. Oh, what could be the matter on this most glorious of evenings, Robert? Did Marcy forget to bring more wine again? 
I found this here letter. When I find out who the traitor is, I'll wring their neck with my own two hands and feed the corpse to the jack rabbits. Where was it signed? It was signed anonymous. Robert, could I uh, speak to you in private, please? Be my guest. Abanako, where my pistol at? It's in your answer. They're right. Make it quick, boy. Boy, is it horrible? No, Robert, I'm nervous about something. Nervous about what? Spit it out, boy. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how you take it. Why are you scared? I'm sorry, Robert. <coughs> Robert! No! No! no. <coughs> that Yankee loving son of a Say good to Robert. Oh, no, Samuel, I I'm dying. No. Don't go into the light. Oh, oh tell Marcy. I love her. Oh, I love her too. Oh, oh, oh. Robert! Robert! Oh, oh, Robert. Robert. Oh, no. Oh, oh I think it's just a flesh wound. Uh, uh, what was that about Marcy? Oh, uh. I was, I was delusional. I thought you was dying. Hey Samuel, I'm heading out back to my property to tend to my wounds and get some more of that Virginia wine. Alright Robert, don't take too long now. Well unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the facilities a tad earlier this evening. And everyone be on high alert. Remember, boys, this house is so huge, the old man won't be able to hear a thing if his life depended on it. <laughs> Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of... <laughs> Who's there? By the dim and flaring lamp, his day is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. I have read.
spread a fiery gospel writ in burnished rows of steel. Let me feel with my contemptible soul if you, my grace, shall be that the hero born. Hey guys, I brought some more wine. My soul to answer him, be jubilant at my feet. Our God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born. Across the sea, with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free, while God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Well, this pop belly piece of white trash had it coming. I second that. That right, that right. So what now, Oval? Well, we head back to camp and plan the next wave of our operation. Hey, Leroy. Yes, sir? How's about you join our little crusade? You're a good shot, son. And we'd love to have you aboard. Well, sir, I guess I ain't got much of a choice. I help you kill more white folk. <laughs> that right. Under me like my forefathers before I want a good mount when the bugle sounds And I hear the cannons roar Well, I want to be in the cavalry If they send me off to war Well, I want a horse and a volunteer force That's riding forth at dawn Please save for me some gallantry That will let go when I'm gone I beg of you, Sarge, let me lead the charge And the battle lines are drawn Let me at least leave a good hoofbeat That remember Be sour and slow at march 
And I'd be sick on a Navy ship And the sea would leave me parched But I'll be first in line if they let me ride By God, you'll see my starch Low back or the heat of the laurel wreath Underneath that victory arch Well, I want to be in the cavalry If they send me up to war Well, I want a good steed under me Like my forefathers before I want a good man when the bugle sounds And I hear the cannons roar Well, I want to be in the cavalry If they send me up to war the riderless black and I'm finished in my hunt. Well, I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war. Well, I want to be in the cavalry, but I won't ride home no more. 